Welcome back. Today I have a Chanel unboxing. I am so excited about this one. I actually have had this sitting like in my home for like, I feel like it's been like two months now and I've just been so busy. Like I haven't had a chance to film an unboxing. I'm so sorry that I've been so like absent on YouTube, um, which is why you should follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which is Vivian Vogue. The links will be in the description bar below because I post like every day on Instagram and TikTok just because it's a lot faster to make for me than like YouTube. But I feel bad that I haven't posted on YouTube in like two months. So for my followers on YouTube, I really appreciate you guys. I am not trying um, to like disappear on you guys. It just takes a lot of time for me to like sit down, film one of these videos, edit them, upload them, all the shit does um but i have a really exciting chanel unboxing today do you want to guess what it is okay let's get to it um so obviously you have the camellia as always beautiful ribbon wrapping oh, which i'm obsessed with and then the gorgeous box you can tell because it's a box that lifts like this and not one of the magnetic ones that it is a pair of shoes um comment below if you want to guess what kind of shoes they are but clue they are a pair of shoes I have unboxed on YouTube before and that I have owned before. I just got a newer version of them. So I feel like that basically gave it away. And most of you who like follow me on Instagram and see the Chanel shoes that I own and that I wear probably know what this is, but let's get to it. Gorgeous Chanel tissue paper that has the Chanel logo all over it and the little sticker. Let me open this. Okay, you ready to see what I got? Three, two, one. They are, oh, they're in their dust bag, so you can't even see. Um, let me show you guys. So obviously two Chanel dust bags, one for each shoe. They are the ever popular dun, 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 dad sandals. Um, so if you have been following me, I have done a previous video unboxing the original dad sandals I own. I'll link it. Um, I'll put a photo here, but the link will be in the description bar below. So I originally had the like the fabric shoe with um, the little like button CC because these shoes, which are the original, which are sort of they're also in a fabric, but they're kind of like a not like a nylon. Um, it's really hard to explain, but these are fabric as well. But instead of like the CC logo in a circular button, they have like the crystal CC. These are the original dad sandals that came out in like, God, I feel like it was like 2019, 2018. Um, and I missed out on those. And so I bought the newer version, which were the circular logos with the button. Um, but I always really wanted these ones. And then I'm so happy they actually came back. Um, so if you've been after these, like hound your sales associates, they are making a comeback and they're in stores. Um, so I ended up basically selling my old ones on my Instagram. Um, so if you're ever looking to like shop my wardrobe or like if I let go of bags and like shoes and stuff like that, um, I think for really reasonable prices, personally, in my opinion, um, then follow me on Instagram. And that's why I post like any bags or like shoes that I'm getting rid of for my collection. So I sold the old version that I had of these, which was still in really good condition. Um, and I got these new ones. So let me show you. Oh, I'm obsessed with these and I'm so happy now I've unboxed them I can wear them they've literally been sitting in their box in my home for like two months because I didn't want to wear them before I could unbox them for you guys and I haven't had any time until now to do an unboxing so as you can see it's just got the Chanel um, logo on the insole the whole insole I think is leather um, it feels like leather um, and then the bottom of the shoe just has the sizing so these are a size 38 um, I don't know if you can see that so these are a size 38. That's my true size. I would recommend getting your true size or half a size down. The previous ones that I had in the fabric with the button were a size 37 and a half. And honestly, I did try these on in store. I haven't worn them, but I couldn't feel a difference between the 37 and a half and the 38 when I tried these in store. So talking about sizing, as I said, I recommend either going half a size down or get your normal size because the dad sandals do seem to run a bit big. These are a 38 and I will tell you how they measure. So I have my little, um, like ruler here to tell you the measurements because I know a lot of people like don't live it near a Chanel store and have to like buy it through like a personal shopper or buy it through the store and have it like mailed to them so these are 20 uh these are 38 and they measure from the back of the heel to the top of the toe at roughly I want to get it really right for you guys I would say that they are 26 and a half centimeters 
or to be fair okay so i was measuring it from all the way in the back all the way up to the top and that is 20 that's exactly 26 centimeters don't know if you'll be able to see that 26 centimeters right there but to be fair you don't your shoe your foot like doesn't sit up here like your foot sits like in this bit like your foot doesn't go up um so if you're measuring the part that like your foot actually sits in which is a more accurate measurement in my opinion then i would say these are 24 centimeters and that sounds more correct because i know that my foot is like my feet are like 24 maybe like 24 and a half centimeters last time i measured them um so if you want to see more accurately here which is from the back, the flat bit where your foot sits down on because you don't, like your foot doesn't sit realistically all the way on the edge. So from the flat bit in the back all the way to the flat bit here in the front, like not counting this curved bit because you don't want your toes hanging off the edge, this measures exactly 24 centimeters. I'll see if you guys can see that there, exactly 24 centimeters there. I get a lot of questions from people asking like are they good for wide foot because a lot of Chanel shoes like their ballerinas and their sneakers which I also own I find are like very comfortable or like designed for a normal width foot or like even a narrow foot I think their ballerinas are definitely designed for more of a narrow foot and if you have a wide foot like me they can be a bit uncomfortable like I think I went half a size bigger in the ballerinas just because my feet are a little bit more wide um that the width of like my true size didn't fit perfectly um these are perfect for wide feet because again like this is all velcro so you can open this up and make it as wide as you want like if your foot is this wide you can literally make it that wide like it doesn't need to be narrow if that makes sense but then also if you do have narrow feet you can also do this and make it like super um what's the word for it like super narrow i guess and make it a lot tighter um I think they are 10 out of 10 for comfort. These are a brand new pair, so obviously I can't testify to the comfort of these exact shoes, but I've owned this exact style before for like a year, maybe a year and a half, and I wore them every single day in summer. They were so comfortable. I love them. They're one of my favorite shoes. I probably like these more than I like my Chanel ballet flats. I wear these a lot more than I wear my ballet flats, to be honest. Um, they're just super comfortable and I love that they come in like a fabric now. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but a lot of the Chanel sandals, the dad sandals, come in like leather or insert a photo. So they come with like leather, but personally for me, like for summer shoes, like I don't want to wear like a leather sandal. Like the whole point of a sandal for me is to like let my feet like air out so that they don't get smelly and like leather picks up smell and like holds smell. So... If your feet are like sweating like that for me personally like makes me worry that like the shoe like the leather shoe is gonna absorb the smell and absorb the sweat and it's just gonna get really gross um which is different to like leather sneakers because you're wearing like a sock with it so the like your sweat and your foot doesn't directly touch the shoe no hate to anybody that has bought these in leather that's just personally why i chose for the fabric option every time so i love that these ones are fabric um i love that they're adjustable they're super comfortable like i said you can wear them in winter with a sock or a stocking so i personally think that they're like an all-year shoe but obviously they are designed for a summer shoe because they're sandals um and i do wear them a lot more in summer than i do winter but i have worn them um in winter before usually just like to the gym if i can't be bothered putting on real shoes i'll just put on some socks and i will show you how they fit on my feet one of the things i love about these shoes and why you don't have to really worry too much about sizing is because everything's adjustable like if you have really wide feet and i do have wide feet you can wear them like that like you don't have to have um, them all the way tight like you can make them looser which I love um, same with the length like you can always make this a little bit bigger in the back and even if the length isn't perfect because the sizing is a bit weird with these shoes like it'll fit perfect because I'm pretty sure that the girl who purchased my my old ones that I replaced with these my old ones were the 37 and a half I think she was a size 38 like me um and she was like worried like are they gonna fit like I'm always a 38 and I told her like I'm also a 38 but I bought those in a 37 and a half and I've worn them for like a year and they fit perfect um so she was able to get like basically a brand new pair because mine were in great condition for like half the retail price um because you can adjust them and basically make them fit your size so this is what they look like. I'm sorry, this is like the worst shot in the world. Um, let's do both shoes. Oh my god, they're so, they feel so nice on my feet. This is what they look like. I'm sorry that this is like a really awkward shot. Um, but you can see I'm a 38, these are a 38. They fit perfectly. Um, they feel stunning. They look so good. 
um, I will try and take some more photos and videos and stuff, but they'll probably go on my Instagram, my TikTok, not my YouTube. So if you want to see like how they look after a couple of wears, or if you want like my review on the wearage, even though I already know that they wear really well because I've had these shoes before, um, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll be posting a lot more stuff there. I don't know how long they're going to keep this exact style around. These are the original ones from like 2019, 2020 when they originally released it. And now the newer versions are made out of like leather, like I said, um, or they do like lots of different colors. So if you want these black fabric ones with like the crystal logo, I would move quickly because I know that they're in stock now, but they could be gone by like next season. So move quickly. Let me know if you get them. Um, and I hope you guys like this little unboxing. I do have so many more Chanel unboxings for you guys. So make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see a lot more content. Thanks so much for watching.